This video covers solving for a variable in terms of other variables using addition or subtraction. This is like the basic version. We're going to do the advanced next. So when you're doing this, what you want to do is focus on isolating the variable you are solving for using the addition or multiplicative properties of equality. So let's look at number one. Here it says solve for n. So I have 5 equals n plus m. What I want to do is get that n all by itself. So I'm going to subtract m, so my m's cancel, but I need to do that to both sides because remember what I do to one side, I have to do to both. This is an equation. We have to keep it balanced. So I find that 5 minus m equals n. Now I know that's not like a real number. It's an expression. We remember that m stands for a variable and that's what this problem is asking us to do. Just really isolate our given variable. So let's do another example. I need to solve for x, y equals x plus r. Well, again, I need to get that x all by itself. So I'm going to subtract r from both sides. I get y minus r equals x. And then we're done. That's all you have to do. You've isolated your variable. Good job. Last problem three, I have to solve for y. r equals y minus x. Well, now instead of subtracting, I'm going to be adding x to both sides, again, to isolate that y variable. So I have r plus x equals y. 